Hey, what's up, guys? This is RCMM13, and this is my review on the Traxxas Link 2.4 GHz radio system from Traxxas, the TQ Top Qualifier. It's a high output, and it, um, it Traxxas.com, they say it sells for $90. They sell it for $90 new with the um, receiver and transmitter. Um, let's go over the little specs with it. Um, it came in my Stampede 4x4. And, um, you see, they, they put in some work into it that was worthwhile, but then they put some into it that made it not as great as it could have been. Okay. It's your basic two-channel remote, um, just you got your normal stuff. You got your steering throttle expo, your steering dual rates, and your uh, throttle trim, and uh, br and braking brakeage control, braking control. And you got um, neutral to seventy thirty um, throttle, um, and uh, yeah. So those you got your basic features. But as you got your feel in the hand, feels pretty good. But speaking of it being ninety dollars, could have felt a little better. It does feel good. It's a tiny bit front heavy. It's a little small, definitely. Though the ergonomics are good. Uh, it's right where your hand wants to be, but maybe it's a little bit high. So maybe the ergonomics are off a little bit. But yeah. Would have been nice if they did that. But one thing I really like about this is four battery, four batteries. It takes only four batteries. But the only thing I don't like about the four battery thing is what to get into it. It's a little different instead of sliding it out. As you can see, when you try to slide it out, it doesn't come out. But there is a little lock right here. It, uh, you just press that down and you don't slide out you just you just kind of press down on it and it slides out kind of like that it's it's kind of weird but it's it's okay but um they got their telemetry they're trying to pack some high-end features to something that's very basic they're trying to do an led thing they're trying to do tons of features on this LED light, as you can see. Light it up, and you got a menu and set and select button that you can select it from. And that they're trying to pack it in as easily as they can as possible. It would have been just nice if they they put on somewhere maybe around here a little screen and little buttons to dial on. Would have been much nicer. And for ninety dollars, I think that should have been used instead of how expensive this is to have it like that. Um, it does have a lot of things, but uh, it uses an instruction manual in there, and it's a little confusing. I, I don't like that. But speaking of how it, how fast it is, I'm going to test this out. I have it installed and bound to the slash four board. Turned on. It's, as you can see, when I turn this, there may be a tiny bit of, of, um, of, um, what do you call it, a little bit of, um, delay. Very hard to tell though. But throttle, very precise. I'm just going to go light because it's on the table. Yeah, so if you see it, it actually does itself pretty good on the truck. It's performance, it's pretty good. But again, would I buy it again? No, no. No, definitely not. 
considering the price tag to get something about this good. Um, you could buy a Fly Sky GT3, no, no, GT2, and have about the same features and 20 bucks. Hobbyparts.com, great deal. FSGT3B, $35, 10 model memory, tons of features, telemetry, everything, built in telemetry, a lot of cool stuff, and 35 bucks, can't beat that, $7 per receiver, got a review up for that. It's not as good as the kind of reviews I do these days because I had a pretty bad camera back then. So, anyway, on. And one thing, it's not even as good of a deal as the Spectrum DX3E or DX2E. It doesn't feel doesn't feel, definitely doesn't feel as good as those. It has about the same or less features and they cost about 50 to $60. I recommend the Spectrum ones over that if you're going for absolute comfort at a real low price. Those are the way to go. But guess what? This is good, but it's not great. So, would I buy again? No. No. $90 is just, it's just not worth it. So, um... That's about it, and uh, please watch more RC videos on our Spent 13 Network, and please uh, watch um, RC Lightning's channel um, videos. He's got a lot of cool stuff coming up, including he is in a, a race, an indoor race, and uh, he's going to be racing, and he is sponsored by his local hobby shop, and he's got some um, banners of RC Lightning. He's made his own little... Uh, logo which is really cool. I'm actually thinking about making my own logo soon. And uh just to tell you I, I do race too. I race down at RC Outlaws. Um I race my um slash four by four and stampede four by four down at the um four by four SC class um short course truck class. That's actually not for the eight scales but anyway, uh please subscribe and check out those guys' channels and uh have a great day. See you.